Man, I was thinking about going on a cruise, but you see the prices? They're high. <laughs> $59,000, that's a 137-night cruise. And then there's a world cruise of 78 nights for 51000 yeah, we went on a cruise last year in April for about $900 for two people for five nights. And then we probably spent another $400, so about $1,400. So we're fixing to go on a cruise, but I waited till the last minute to book it. So my wife wants to go on a cruise. You know, she that's the perfect vacation for her. She, I gotta, she don't have to cook. She don't have to go get groceries. You know, you just get up, and as long as you make it to the food on time, you know, it's pretty cool. There's no TV hardly, but you can get internet and there's entertainment on the ship. So we're going to go on another cruise, but I was just looking at the cruise. Just uh, said cheap deals and then 59,000. The cheapest one I think they had was 3,000 or maybe 12,000, but it's a different cruise line. A lot less people, you know, maybe 900 instead of thousands of people. But I was like, wow. That is expensive for a cruise. We're going to go on a cheaper cruise. If I win the lottery or if I become uh, famous as Mr. Beast or something, <laughs> I might go on a $59,000 cruise. But five days was a lot. I don't think I could handle 137 nights. I'd feel like you'd be on a cruise and you'd feel like you'd come into a new world. You know, a whole different world. Like, you be on the ship. Um, he has a lot of excursions where you get off and go on land. But then, you know, what about if you have medicine and you need prescriptions? How are you going to have medicine for six months? So it's kind of scary to think about going on a cruise. And what about if you need a doctor and you get off the boat? Are you going to have to go back to the, make your way to the next land port to get back on the cruise? If you have it something has to happen do you fly back to the states do you get on the port get to the states and then go to the next stop and get back on the cruise do you get any money back so it's a lot it's a lot to consider you know because um i doubt most people that are working can afford to be gone for 137 nights but i'm assuming that's how they would do it because you know you might lose part of the cruise but as long as you get back on the port go take care of business go to the doctor Maybe they can fly you medicine in while you're on the cruise. Who knows? So you have internet included. Only like 900 and something passengers. So you'll be like going with a, a class, you know, your whole 12th grade class or something. But you'll be like people all over the world. But that'd be pretty wild. It's uh, For me, it's hard to imagine having that kind of money just to go on a cruise like that. It's more than what most people make in probably a year, year and a half, even with the increased wages. Can you imagine that going on a cruise like that?